The Quantum Access is a mini PC stick that despite its very small size, just might surprise you with its impressive performance, but only if you go in with realistic expectations. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from davidthefranco.com with finally my review of this, the Quantum Access, a miniature PC that is fully compatible with Windows 8.1. But to make things a little more interesting, I did upgrade this to Windows 10. So let's talk about it. Okay, so the Quantum Access features an Intel Atom quad core Z3735F processor with two gigabytes of DDR3L RAM, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, as well as ports for both USB 2.0 and micro USB. But of course, that's not it. The Quantum Access also features wireless connectivity for both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. Which in other words, and this is how I look at the Quantum Access, this is a perfect PC for an HT PC. And that's exactly how I prefer to use the Quantum Access for streaming media. And speaking of streaming media, all of this is powered via a single HDMI port as well as the included power adapter. You plug it in, connect the power adapter, and you are on your way. This is a desktop-like PC, but through the convenience of plugging it in to your HDMI port. And that in itself is just really cool. Okay, so this means that the Quantum Access is perfect for streaming media via services like Netflix, YouTube, Plex, whatever service you prefer. This is awesome for that kind of usage. And even some gaming here and there. Now, obviously you're not gonna be gaming on Minecraft or games like Half-Life or Quake. Yes, I realize those are not really modern games nowadays, but when I think of PC gaming, I always think of Half-Life and Red Faction and just the good old days. But if you are looking to do some very mobile-like gaming, if that makes sense, on your HTPC, in other words, the Quantum Access, then this is perfect for that. This includes Candy Crush, Rayman Fiesta Run, Rayman Jungle Run, Solitaire, and the list goes on. And finally, last but not least, I am including this as a pro. This Quantum Access runs Windows 10 just fine. Sure, it's a little laggy here and there, but you know what? For a PC costing less than $150, this is not a bad deal. So with that said, if you're looking for a side computer or a secondary computer, if you want to call it that, for about $130, simply to run Windows 10 and just to experiment with, then go for it, you will likely not be disappointed. But speaking of disappointments, of course, something like this does have a few cons worth mentioning. And the first con is exactly that. This is exactly what you'd expect for less than $150. You're not gonna get superb performance. You're not gonna be doing any kind of serious gaming on here. You're not even really gonna do any serious word processing. This is basically a web browsing computer a very, very basic gaming computer, but it is excellent for streaming media. Again, via Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, anything like that. Which is why it's extremely important that you keep in mind what I mentioned at the very beginning of this video. You simply need to go into a product like this with realistic expectations. But this next con, I gotta say, could easily be a deal breaker for many users, including myself. Despite having the convenience of simply plugging this into an HDMI port, it's not always that simple. Because one, my Samsung TV simply would not allow this to fit because of how the bezel is on the back. Number two, this wouldn't even fit into any of my ASUS monitors. And thirdly, unfortunately, I couldn't even connect this to my brand new LG ultra wide monitor because it simply wouldn't fit. But luckily, I put it in the back of my AV receiver Yes, it fit, but unfortunately I had to disconnect my Xbox 360 for this to actually, well, connect and have enough room around it to fit snugly. Snugly. Is that a word? So I'm just being perfectly honest, and that's exactly why I'll recommend another product from Quantum Suppliers at the very end of this video, but not before I mentioned my last con, and that is the fact that you have limited onboard storage of 32 gigabytes on this device. Now, after upgrading to Windows 10, I found that I only had maybe like five or 10 gigabytes free, which actually really isn't much, 
And I will say this is not a huge deal in my eyes because as I mentioned before, this is perfect for streaming media. And that's exactly what I do with this device. That's literally all I do is stream media via Netflix. So obviously I'm not gonna be installing Photoshop or actual games on this computer. Besides again, like Solitaire, Rayman Fiesta Run, Candy Crush, all that good stuff. But with that said, this does feature a USB port on the side, right there. So if you wanted to connect a hard drive to this, you can. So wrapping up this video, what is my final verdict? Now the Quantum Access is very unique and I gotta give Quantum Suppliers props because not only is it incredibly small, but it's also more impressive than I was expecting, especially from a basic gaming perspective. But to be perfectly honest, I still prefer the Quantum Byte, which is more expensive and larger than the Quantum Access but it's overall just a more impressive product in my eyes. However, with that said, if you're looking to trade off performance for the convenience of being able to, again, literally just plug this into an HDMI port, connecting the power adapter, then having an on-the-go desktop-like PC with you at all times, then maybe this is worth it. But me personally, I'll take the Quantum Byte over this any day, but hey, that's just me. Hey guys, honestly, that's a good problem to have because both of these products that I just mentioned are from the same brand, so I will link both of those products right below. And of course, huge thanks to Quantum Suppliers for making this possible. I really, really appreciate it. While I didn't exactly love this device, it was still nice to use it and see what mobile HD PCs are like. And I'm definitely interested in getting my hands on future products that are similar to this one. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.